Good evening, everyone, and thanks for joining us tonight. A community certainly in mourning right now following that crash in Winnebago County that we told you about. Investigators were at the scene for more than 10 hours last night and into the early morning hours. Yeah, the semi truck crashed into a home in the town of Vinland. Uh, Green Valley Road has since been reopened there where the home is. Fox 11's Lydia Anderson heard from the truck driver's daughter and a woman who witnessed the crash. The baby that died was an eight-month-old boy. He was inside this house when a semi-truck crashed into it. The Winnebago County Sheriff's Office says the man driving the semi was a 63-year-old from Little Shoot. He sustained minor injuries. Fox 11 talked to the semi-truck driver's daughter midday on Tuesday. She did not want to answer any questions on how this happened, but provided a statement. She said her father is mentally torn up from the situation. She also said her father has had more than 30 years of safe driving experience. Lastly, she told Fox 11 that her father's condolences are with the family affected. Fox 11 also talked with a witness to the crash over the phone. I thought he was pulling over out of traffic, and that was it. But I just kept watching him because he just kept drifting over and further over and over. He hit the fence, and then he went over that little road there. And then all of a sudden, just like a small little jerk to the right, and he went right into the house. Rap says she couldn't imagine what the family's going through. I'm a little shaken. I have grandchildren of my own. To have an accident happen like that, it's gut-wrenching. Kind of makes you look at your blessings a little bit closer every day now. We reached out to local businesses surrounding the home who did not want to comment on the situation out of respect for the family. One business nearby said they want the approval of the family before talking to anyone about what they witnessed. Some other businesses in the area said they were not aware of the crash. The Winnebago County Sheriff's Office tells us no further information will be released at this time. The truck driver's company has not yet been identified. In Vinland, Lydia Anderson, Fox 11 News. No word yet on what caused the truck driver to veer off the interstate and crash into the home. The Winnebago County Sheriff's Office is investigating.